What is up, YouTube? This your boy Nachi Native, and I'm back again with another video on tips to grow your hair out properly. Wonder what's in my hair? I'm currently deconditioning it right now, and I was just like, well, since I'm deconditioning, I might as well make a video. So, without further ado, let's just get this video on the road. So, you want to grow your hair out? You are sick of being bald headed. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But you, you honestly want to grow your hair out, and you don't know honestly how to, or better yet. You want to grow your hair, you know some tips, but you want to better it so you can like get the most out of your hair. And this video is going to anybody who has any type of hair. Um, type 4A, Type 4B, Type 4C, Type 3, it don't matter. Um, it goes for anybody who has hair that can go curly or coily. Tip number one, always go to sleep with either a bonnet or do-rag or if you have like a satin pillowcase or a silk pillowcase, it don't matter but don't ever go to sleep on cotton. Cotton strips our hair of the natural oils we have or the oils and creams that we put in our hair on a daily basis, which then makes our hair also lose, lose that, lose. It helps, it makes you lose the, um, the moisture that you have in your hair. And if you lose the moisture in your hair, what happens is that it leads to more breakage. And if you're trying to grow your hair out, the one thing you don't want to do or look forward to is breakage. Like, nobody wants to have breakage. Um, and also, the reason why you want to wear a bonnet or a do-rag or sleep on a pillowcase that's satin or silk is because of the fact that hair that is coily or curly, basically African-American hair, um, it breaks easily because what happens is that because our hair is coily and curly, the sebum, that is our natural oil that comes out of the inside of our head, it cannot travel down our hair as fast, which is why it is easier for someone who has straight hair or just curl, curly hair, it would, it'll be easy for them to grow hair because the sebum in their hair flows down easily, which is why they don't get that much breakage. However, we it masks our hair down if you go to sleep without something silky or satin it makes our hair matted down which leads to more breakage and you don't want to have any breakage it's just not good for your hair tip number two you need to moisturize your hair every day our hair needs moisture okay so i don't care if you're a dude or a female you have to moisturize your hair um i'm a hair enthusiast so i use a lot of oils and i use a lot of creams and butters because I'm just really into my hair but if you're not like me and you don't like you don't really care for the stuff you need to hear and that's absolutely fine but I suggest that you put some type of conditioner or use some type of oil or shea butter to seal in the moisture in your hair because if you don't put moisture in your hair you can't it's not gonna be your hair can't grow without moisture you need it especially if you have a hair that has more of a kinky or a very coily rather than curly like for instance for a C you I would prefer that you you need to moisturize your hair it's harder for you to it's harder to grow your hair without moisture and I don't I don't actually use a lot of stuff I only use when I get out the shower if I wash my hair I just use some of my oils like for instance I use some of my argan oil and I use other oils like castor um, olive oil, vitamin E, and so many more, and that is actually my leave-in conditioner. I'll make a video about that in the future, but that's my leave-in, and I just use a shea butter to seal in the moisture, and then I, if I'm doing a wash and go, I use my gel. I'll use a little bit, because too much gel is a problem, but I'll go into depth with that with another tip later. Tip number three, do not wash your hair every time you get in the shower. I don't, I don't know why people do that. I don't know. God knows why, but you do not wash your hair every day, okay? Unless you, and don't take this braces or nothing, but people who have straight hair, like I would say for instance, like maybe Caucasians or Asians, they can wash their hair every day because like I said earlier, the sebum is able to flow down their hair easily rather than our hair. So they can wash their hair every day because their natural oils get replenished easily. However, our natural oils, when you wash your hair, your hair is, is clean yeah and I'm, I understand that y'all want your hair to be clean but you cannot wash your hair every day you need those natural oils because our hair does not it's not they don't produce enough it's because it can't travel down the shaft enough which is why I say you do not ever wash your hair a lot 
Now, personally, me, I don't wash my hair. Yeah, I don't get dandruff. I don't get build up. I don't wash my hair. Um, I co-wash my hair. People, people, a lot of people don't like that because they feel like that they don't get rid of the cleansing that you need. And you know, co-wash is not for everybody. You know, so if you want to shampoo your hair, by all means, do it. That's fine. But I suggest that you get a sulfate-free shampoo. And if you do shampoo your hair, I suggest do it maybe twice or three times a week at most. I I would rarely do that. Only time I would say you would shampoo, or the time that I only shampoo, is when I have a lot of buildup on my hair. If I have too much stuff on my hair, I'll wash my hair, or better yet, I'll just deep condition it. Um, but yeah, you never want to wash your hair every day. That's just stripping your hair of the oils that you need to grow your hair, and you can't really grow your hair as much as you want to. Number four, deep condition your hair. You need everybody needs to deep condition their hair. Deep conditioning allows the hair to be soaked, which is what I have right now. It don't look as much as soaked earlier because my hair is absorbent, which I need to go wash it down in a minute, but I'm gonna finish this video for y'all. But deep conditioning soaks in your hair follicles and you it helps, it helps your hair grow because it's working on your hair. It's cleansing your hair, but it's also allowing the oils to come out because what happens is when you deep condition it you're supposed to have a shower cap or sit under a heating pad i don't like using sink i don't like heat i don't like a, i like to use a lot of heat so what i usually do is i just put on a shower cap and just let my natural heat just get up in there for about 30 45 minutes depending on how what deep conditioner you have and basically what it does is when you have when you're hair gets hot I mean when it when the heat lets your hair get through it helps the oils come out and that's what helps your hair grow it lets the sebum come out once you decondition your hair and a lot of people don't do it a lot of men don't do it like females do it but a lot of men don't like to do it and we need to do that more because it helps our hair grow it helps our hair grow like dramatically like I just started deconditioning my hair for the first time last year and I have improved significantly compared to when I never never even knew what deep conditioning was. I thought it was just like a female thing. But I learned now that yeah it's it works dramatically and I love it and I think we need to do it more so we can grow our hair out better and it makes your hair stronger too. That's another thing. Deep conditioning makes your hair stronger because it is basically is conditioning is helping your hair not only be smooth but it's also letting it be stronger let it be at its best you do not need to decondition like every week though I mean you can do it once a week I rarely do it like that as I usually used to because it, you don't really need it it's basically a waste of product if you're doing it every time you can do it maybe twice a month or maybe once a week once a week like I said but you don't have to do it all the time it's not gonna damage your hair if you keep doing it but it's just gonna be a waste of your deep condition that you can be saving for the time that you really need it number five trim your hair nobody wants to trim their hair okay i don't like trimming my hair because i feel like i'm losing a part of myself you know and i understand that air, don't nobody want to trim their hair but you need to trim your hair okay if you don't trim your hair what happens is that the hair that needs to be trimmed it keeps going up the roots and when it keeps going up the strands into the roots what happens is that when you finally need that trim it's going to be a little bit worse you have to cut off a little bit more than what you would have cut off prior to that so you need to trim your hair you don't have to trim your hair all the time uh, I trim my hair every few months I say probably I trim it two to three months and I that's because I really don't get that much breakage if you get a lot of breakage I suggest you probably go a little more like maybe probably once a month or so but you only need to trim it when you feel like there's a lot of breakage or you feel like there's a lot of split ends or a lot of dead hair that's just matted and tangled in your hair. Um, what I usually do when I when I trim my hair, I just put my hair in a twist, and then when I put my hair in a twist, I hold it out to how full it is, and then whatever I see that straggling, them straggling ends, I cut them, and you just need to trim your hair. Your hair cannot grow correctly if you don't trim your hair. It's just basically a waste of your time and. Like I said, a lot of men, we need to trim our hair more because us not trimming our hair is just not good for the hair, not good for the hair. Make sure when you trim your hair, 
that you use hair scissors, okay? Don't be ghetto and use the regular scissors because that's how you get regular breakage. You need to use hair scissors. They sell them at beauty supply for a dollar or two dollars. They're not that expensive. Just get some. And yes, they are they are different compared to your little kitchen scissors or the scissors you use to do your projects. Do not use those scissors. I promise you it will be the worst mistake you'll ever make in your life. Tip number six, when you detangle your hair, um, I suggest that you use a wide tooth comb or just figure the tangles. Um, using a comb that is like very close together, like for instance, like using a rat tail comb, besides using it to part your hair, is bad, completely bad to use on our hair. It's not good for our hair at all. You need a wide tooth comb to allow the curls to slip through, you know, or better yet, just finger the tangles. I have a wide tooth comb and I use it sometimes, but I rarely use it because the majority of the time I finger the tangles, you know, just go through. If uh, I don't, and when you finger, and when you detangle too, do not, if you feel like there's something that's like not it, do not, do not like literally try to pull it out. That causes more breakage. When you have a knot, what you want to do is, if, cause like, like I said, it's finger detangling. You would just rub your fingers together to try to get the knot to ease. And if you can't get the knot out, like you want to, then you take your scissors, you, bleh, your hair scissors, please do not. Do not use regular scissors. Take your hair scissors and gently cut at the knot and that's all you gotta do. But if that's too much work for you or if you don't feel like doing all that work, just use a wide detangling comb, a wide tooth, a wide tooth detangling comb. But like I said before, um, you need to detangle your hair. If you don't detangle your hair, it causes more breakage, it's more prone to breakage and it's just not healthy for our hair to not detangle. Please keep chemical use to a low. Chemicals is not good for our hair. Perms, dyes, all that stuff. And I'm not gonna act like I'm holy holy because if y'all know from my old hair videos, my hair was not this light. Yeah, um, I lightened my hair. I did not use a dye. I did it um, with peroxide and baking soda and some conditioner and honey. I used that to light my hair. And yeah, <laughs> but like I don't use chemicals like that. It's not good for our hair. When I line my hair, I I usually don't do it for another few months because it's just you need to let your hair be able to regain all of the moisture and basically regain the strength that it needs to be able to bounce back easily. So, um. I suggest if you do use chemicals because like I said a lot of people like to dye their hair like to line and make it different colors if you do that please just keep it to a minimum use because your hair will not grow as much as it, it can because chemicals it actually kills off our hair it does I line my hair yeah it looks nice but it kills off our hair if you don't give it time to regain itself and be able to get back to what it was before you Put the chemical inside of his hair and that's pretty number eight every hair regimen is not for you and every hair regimen is not for somebody else what may work for me may not work for you and vice versa so don't always go off of because of what somebody else is doing is working for them it must work for you just because i got the same hair pattern because y'all might not have the same hair pattern as all at all i used to do the lock method which is basically you use a leave-in conditioner an oil and a cream but what I found out is my hair doesn't really like it like that. It doesn't bring out how my hair is supposed to look. So what I did was I did a little venture and just looked on the internet, found some other ways, um, tried some other products on my hair, did some other things, and I learned that um, I make my own products and it makes it makes my hair come out as best as I want it to be. So I stopped using store-bought leave-in conditioner and I started making my own leave-in and it's brought my hair up dramatically. Um, my hair has grown a lot and I'm amazed at the results and I can't wait to see what I can do with it in the future. But back to what I was saying, every hair regimen does not work for you and every hair regimen does not work for me. So I suggest that when you do look for a hair regimen, look for something that can work for you. And just because it may work for them, like I said, does not mean it may work for you. It, can do something for your hair 
it needs to be able to bring your hair to the fullest and see what your hair can do with its best abilities and just work with it and see how it works. Do not towel dry your hair. I'm, I don't know how many times I have to tell people this. So many people ask me, you know, why do you be using a t-shirt or why do you, well for one, everybody who knows me know I do not like to use heat. I never like using heat. I really don't. Unless I'm like in a hair hurry or I'm like going to a wedding or something that's like a big event, I have to use heat. I use it like a little setting or something, but I hate using heat. So what I usually do is I air dry my hair. Um, would you want to dry your hair off? Please. And I please, I beg. Please just use a, use like a shirt that you don't use no more. Or use something that's cotton or polyester. But do not use anything that is a towel. Do not use towel. It strips your hair. It's not good for your hair at all. I don't know why people towel dry their hair and then be like, it feels so, it feels like it's about to break. Like, yeah, your hair will break because you're using the towel. You're not supposed to use the towel in your hair. If you want to dry your hair, use a t-shirt or use something that's satin or silk. And I know not everybody has it because I sure don't have it. But when I want to dry my hair, I either air dry it or I use uh, I use a shirt. I use like an old t-shirt. Where is it at? I use I use this, you know, just dab. And I and when I dry it, I don't like like <laughs> I don't like snatch it out my head, you know. Like I just dab it a little bit, just dab it, just get the majority of the moisture out, and that's pretty much number ten. Love your hair, okay? I don't know how many times I gotta tell people that. Like, so many dudes will come up to me, or better yet, text me on Instagram, or Facebook me, or Twitter me, or whatever, and will basically be like, how you get your hair like that? I wish my hair was like that. Like, your hair is amazing. And I'm not trying to sound cocky or nothing, but I'm just basically giving y'all the basis of what I always get every time, because a lot of people know that I'm a hair enthusiast, and I do my hair a lot. So they're like, how you do your hair like that? They, and they think I have like some magic trick or something, and I don't at all. You know, um, and I tell them all the time because I'm all about being optimistic and I'm all about, you know, being peaceful, spiritual and loving yourself and self-love. And what I learned is you cannot base your hair off of other people. And like I said earlier, when I say love your hair, I, really, I literally mean love your hair. I don't care if your hair is as nappy. First of all, nappy is beautiful. Don't nappy nappy is not negative. A lot of people think nappy is negative, but it's not. It's beautiful. So if your if your hair, if you can't see the curl, that don't mean you don't have curls in your hair. That just means it's gonna be you have to define your hair a little bit more compared to somebody else's hair. So you have to understand that you need to love your hair and don't want what nobody else has because God gave you that hair for a reason. God gave God gave you that for a reason, you know? So thanks again for tuning in on this video, y'all. I apologize again for not making any videos lately. It's been a lot going on. I had state competition a few weeks ago, and I just got back in from being in my hometown to go see my family for a little bit. So I, again, I apologize for not making the videos, and I will be back to making videos now that I have a new tripod. And yeah, so I will be seeing y'all in the future. Um, please like subscribe and leave comments below for any questions or concerns that you need to let me know or comments and my social media should be in the in the drop box below just make sure you drop down the thing on the youtube i don't know the word no judgment but um yeah so i will see y'all next time and see y'all